Uh, good evening, guys. Um, just a short video to show you how to set up, not set up, how to host a server for um, a set of Corsa. So, to start off, you need to go to your, your directory where your Steam game is for a set of Corsa. There will be a subfolder in here called server. Go to the server and click on acservermanager.exe. That pops up with a, a configuration set up for the Aceto Corsa server. Um, you can click create new server. Um, I've already set up a, a practice server to work on. So you go through, set up all of your all of your settings in the first page, so to speak. Um, what I recommend you do as well is take note of UDP, TCP, and HTTP ports because they are, you'll more than likely have to port forward those ports on your router. Oops, sorry, firewall. So if we take a note here in the corner, so UDP port 9600, 9600, TCP 9600, and HTTP port 8075. So just keep that note. So go through. As you've got settings page is where you set up your settings with your passwords. Um, I will do this off off camera. Any of your your server settings. So if you want to hold host a race, the practice qualifying race, you can set all of this information up here. Um, currently, this is just a practice server for us on one track. So what we'll be doing is we'll have a practice with a server time of 600 minutes. So you can jump in any time, practice for 600 minutes, and then after the 600 minutes, the server resets and then starts a practice session for another 600 minutes. Um, below, you can set your, your weather. So how do, you, how do you want your weather to be? Ambient temperatures, things along those, along those lines. So for us as a testing server, we're just going to leave a a base, a base setup kind of thing. Then the next tab is tracks. Um, click on it, wait a while. What it does is it goes to your set of course directory, scans for all the tracks to see if there's any custom tracks or out of the... Sorry, um, phone went, I was ringing. There we go. So they popped up. So this scans all the tracks so you can see what we're going. So we're going to host a practice track on. I can't remember what we said it was going to be. Um, maybe if I scroll through it, it'll, it'll come to my mind. It's Road Atlanta. Yes, it was Road Atlanta. So you click on Road Atlanta. And then that's your, your track. So you can select how many clients are allowed to connect. And it gives you an estimate on the bandwidth required by the server. So we've only got a small team. I'll leave it at 12, at 12 cars. There's only eight of us in the team. Maybe some people bring a friend. We can have a mini race or whatever with 12 cars. Next tab is your car entry list. Also, when you click on it, it takes a takes a while to go through. So just just be patient. It's not a not a quick thing. So this takes a lot. Also, scans all your cars. If you've got any custom cars, any special cars that you've brought in. Or what have you, all the skins for all the cars as well. It will be where you set up your balance of performance. If you have GUIDs from Steam, so you can limit the certain drivers to certain cars. 
I'll show you that as we go along now. Um, when it comes through, I've actually um, set up, set up a, a list of cars, all our cars for our season at the moment. Ah, uh, there we go. So if we have a look, you have your car options list down the left hand side. Well, as you tick the box, the cars will pop up here with all of their skins. So as you can see, I've got a lot of skins from our competition. And then on the right hand side, you have the cars that you've added. So I've added three of each for practicing. And if you click the menu on the side here, it makes it a little bit bigger. So here you can set your restrictor value or a ballast. And then your GUID, which is the, the GUID from the Steam, from, from Steam, from the Steam, anyway, from Steam. And you can give them a driver name and a team name if you really, really want to. So I've just allowed anybody to drive any car, just so that we can practice. Advanced options menu, yeah, you can set up your um, welcome messages if you want, if you want to restrict the cars to certain fixed setups. If there's tire restrictions that you've got, anything along those lines. And then manual is just how to, how to set it up. So yeah, so then we can click save. So now that you've done this, if you click start server, you'll see it'll, it'll start and it gives you an, out, an output log. If you look in your server, There is a, a logs file, and you can see for, for each session. So this is us today. Sorry. Sorry, start it, stop it before you can open the log. So there you can see your cars, your log file, And as you go, so you can see we have an area here that says connection to lobby failed, attempt number five. Um, this is because we can't get access through the ports, which is why we wrote down the ports over there. So let's close here, open Internet Explorer and go through to your, your router. So each route is different. There are websites that show you how to do port forwarding. So I've got a TP-Link router. It's more or less the same for most of the TP-Link routers. So currently I have a, a port forwarded for my um, home automation system so that I can access internally. So what we'll do is we'll add a new port. So service port is gonna be 9600. IP address is the IP address of your computer. I know mine because it's static. What was the reason for that? Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this. Okay, so 9600, so we click save. So that's there's added, TCP or UDP, they're the same port. Then we add another port which is going to be 8075 again. So what this does is it just, when it connects through the router, it knows that if you're accessing port 8075, it will be directed to this internal IP address. And enabled, you can click HTTP there. So it's not really a, an issue. So I just make it all 8075 and click save. So then all done and all enabled. So if we go back to a set of Corsa, click start server. Let's give it a moment. Close the server.
and we can see that it says OK. So now your system, your server should be hosted. So if we open the Seto Corsa, ah, always an update for Steam. <laughs> so let's just drag you off here. So let's start the server. Let's just turn the server again. Start the server. See that it's running. And then we'll open Setra Corsa. Oops. Takes a while to start up. There we go. Okay, so if we go to main menu, drive online, and we know our server name was equal practice server, equal racing. So there you can see now your services server is available. And I can pick a car. Oh, I didn't update it. But anyway, and then you can click join. And it'll load through the cars, and as you can see, you can connect to the server. It's as easy as that. So yeah, the hardest thing is probably to do the port forwarding, if you don't understand it on your router, and to have a, a decent upload speed. So there you can see I'm in. I still have the old password. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. Um, any comment if you want any information? Don't be scared to post a comment in the comment section. Thank you.